So, what on earth is Dan Dan Town? What is Dan Dan Town? I can guarantee you, if you ask 10 girls, none of them can answer you. But then if you ask 10 guys, maybe 5 or 6 will know what it is. So, what the hell is Dan Dan Town? So actually my targeted time to get out of the hotel was 9am but then now it's like 10.30 The perks of traveling alone again Flexible schedules But then um, yeah I should really get going to to grab something to eat first Like super 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 hungry right now So where am I going? I'm going to Kuromar Market to eat 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 So it takes around 10 minutes from the Naba station to the Kuromar market. I'm like super hungry right now, still. So finally here, time to dig in. There's actually a lot of food here. I don't know what to eat first. So this is uh, fried crabs. So this is my scallop, they actually chop them up in pieces. So fresh. And it's still steaming hot. So this is a uh, tuna rice. <laughs> Love tunas. Look at how thick the tuna is. <laughs> it's so greasy. So awesome. So this is actually not too expensive, it's only um, 1,300 yen. So after the super heavy lunch, now it's time to do more shopping. Dan Dan Town. So what the hell is Dan Dan Town? It's your otaku heaven in Osaka.
So Denton Tower is your equivalent to Tokyo's Akihabara. Um, anything otaku, you can find it there. So basically, you can find figurines, uh, DVDs, uh, comics, mangas, uh, video games, anything. You can find them all in here. I can actually spend hours in these kind of stores. So I can't believe I actually brought something. It's something that I've been looking for a long time already. These are so freaky, man. They look so real. In case you don't know what they are, they're sex toys. Sex dolls. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Vintage video games. So you can find a lot of old video game consoles, video games, accessories, anything you need. These are so hard to find nowadays. They actually don't have the stuff that I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for a Sega Saturn multiplayer tab. So all these vintage video games are actually like the best treasures ever. So this store right here is called Super Potato. Uh, it's known for its retro gaming. Um, hopefully they'll have what I needed to find this side. They really do have it. So they also have all the first generation Pokemon games, Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue, Green, which was not released in North America. So after all that crazy shopping and walking, it's time to eat something really adventurous for dinner. What the hell that is? Blowfish. The reason why it is so adventurous to eat goldfish is because there's toxics in the inside the fish. So if the chef uh, didn't prepare it properly, the toxin will actually leak into the meat and kills whoever eats it. So uh, this might be my last supper. It's super adventurous, that's why I'm eating it. So I ordered a set. Uh, it comes with a mini hot pot, sashimi, salad, and a small beer as well. Uh, cheers! Then 
so I'm gonna try the sashimi first. So this is a fully cooked uh, blowfish. So it actually tastes like chicken. So this is the fried uh, blowfish. So this actually tastes like fried chicken. So it turns out I didn't die from that dinner, so uh, let's continue the crazy playing, crazy shopping, crazy adventures. Look at how many people are doing the same pose. So if I didn't trash them out, I'd probably be making a lot of money right now. But when you come to Japan, you have to go to the drugs and cosmetic stores. So this is a must buy for me. I should use charcoal to barbecue. 